There was a news I saw. I honestly got me laughing. I decided to bring it here and talk about it. Immigration and asylum. UK will not accept return of asylum seekers from Ireland. Rishi Sunak says. <laughs> honestly, this got me laughing. <laughs> Prime Minister dismisses potential deal with Dublin, increasing prospects of an escalating UK-Irish crisis. Rishi Sunak has said the UK will not accept the return of asylum seekers from Ireland and dismissed the prospect of a deal with Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> how how do you expect him to go into a de- another deal with Dublin? The one he has with Rwanda ha- is yet to be uh, um, carried out. No, no, it's 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 not possible. So what actually happened here was the as soon as the Rwanda um, asylum deportation bill was passed. You know, um, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said this will, the deportation will take effect in a few weeks' time. They had a little delay. So people actually started, um, the asylum seekers actually started moving into Ireland, Dublin. And then Ireland cried out, that's they are moving into they are moving into their country. They are moving into their country. They are going to send them back. Now Rishi Sunak is saying he is not going to accept them back, and he is not ready to go into deal with Ireland. So you can see that this whole thing I don't know what is turning into. And then asked if the UK could agree a return scheme with Ireland. Then Rishi Sunak replied, we are not, I'm not interested in that. (laughs) We are not going to accept returns from the EU via Ireland when the EU doesn't accept returns back to France where illegal migrants are coming from. Of course, we are not going to do that. I'm determined to get our Rwanda scheme up and run because I want a deterrent. Ask, asked if there were negotiations with the EU on returns, the Prime Minister said, no, I'm focused squarely on getting our Rwanda scheme up and running. Downing Street hopes the, safely, the safety of Rwanda Act, a, a centerpiece of the Tory electoral campaign, which received royal assent last week, will help stop people from crossing on small boats from France. So now the Irish government says that the threat of deportation to the East African country has partly fueled a surge in arrivals entering Ireland via the land border with Northern Ireland, a route that it says now accounts for more than 80% of asylum seekers in the Republic. The Irish Refugee Council and other advocacy groups questioned the figure. On Tuesday, the Irish Cabinet will consider emergency legislation to facilitate returning asylum seekers to the UK a legal fix required to reverse an Irish High Court ruling last month that the UK was no longer a safe third country for returning asylum seekers because of the Rwanda plan. This is really serious. I I hope they settle this, agree on something, and then know how to deal with this. And I ask, why it sounds so funny to me is what are they returning human being people should really plan their lives and do better 
We can't be going back and forth, returning and re What are they returning? Human beings. Thank you so very much for your time again with me. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my next as I bring your way again. More trending news. Bye.